Three with AccuStats coverage of the finals for the 2024 Bigfoot Challenge. Jeremy Jones is alongside me, Mark Wilson, and Jeremy. What should we look for with our players? Well, I was thinking about it, and I think uh, you know, ah, that's better. The five ball down. Watch out, cue ball. That one hurts because he did hit the rack pretty well. Yeah, it just limped into the pocket. He didn't like Not dart. Not many blockers. Oh, he miscued on the first like shot. There wasn't many ways to get there. Is he just going for the cut here on the three? Just get where he can. Oh, what a stroke. Pretty shot. Pretty he shot. just wanted to show us one, Mark. Yep. Oh, it's oh, real ugly. How well they do. And the one common denominator between the ones that are the real elite is when they get to the final, that. right? Effort yeah. took a little bit, but then once he got over it, he was really like that. And uh, we see that, I think, with this guy as well. Josh's wife, Pia, plays at a high level, but a much yeah. different. She's really making some inroads in the pro women's tour. Well, when it comes to effort, they're very similar. I'll tell you that. And it uh, goes a long ways, no matter really the technique. Or She won some matches at the International Open this year. so oh, She's qualified in the Zero. world. Two in the four ball right behind the one. Okay, neither one found the range. And they were going long Unless early. the four drips in there, nothing. You can make, you know, pocketing the one if you miss it. If it goes up along the long rail, a tough shot and hard to get on the two. He banked it, stiffened it too much. Wow. Huh. Well, I was saying instead of the short rail where his bridge is in between the two, three. What a hit. What a hit. <laughs> and it's what I was talking about earlier. I mean, yeah. what you feel is best. Boy, look at this stretch. Yeah, trying to use the eight here. Oh. What's the touch like? Wow, I thought he made it. He overcut it even. That was pretty He's thin. Here early for what you would consider a mild underdog here in this match. With the bridge very often by top flight bridge players. Yeah, he kind of has that with his regular, you know what I mean, to where he comes down on the uh, decent on the five to make getting on the six easy. The speed looks pretty good to me. Needs a little bounce to be comfortable. Good shot. Got a lot out of the cue ball there without having to use side spin to enhance the air. This was clearly the way to go if you can get here. Yeah, if you can stay around medium, a little less, a little more. I think that's when I see Lee Van really play. And a lot of players really. Uh, Play some of their best. Yeah, the shallow angle, you would guess that anyways. A little high left spin. Yeah, getting a lot out of the cue ball. Good, good signs job. for Lee Van. Yeah, real good job there. This is what we've seen all week. He's got that little X. May bank it, though, like you said. Did you notice he put a little more into it with the open bridge yes. there? Oh, definitely. Yeah, the cue ball was bouncing, got back behind the side pocket. He did slightly miss hit the head ball. Head ball. Lee Van wants to. Ricky just saying this will be a little close. The two will go up, though, so no question. Okay, good shot. And rail between the four seven, I guess. Just filter it on down. Oh yeah, that would perfect. I thought it was much dip more difficult. But he did have to manufacture that. Oh yeah, he had a no, inside that was a spin right by his bridge hand. Sweet. Taking dead aim, too. Yeah, don't mess with the eight. You can handle some angle on the seven and work the cue ball a little bit. Just like really good. Looks 
looks like a roll shot. This would be a high quality break and run out. Yeah, two to one lead. For I think a little bit on the break position. So look more for the six, I think, from here. Did you say the six ball? Yeah. Okay. Well, you put it right there <laughs> off. It favors that same side a little center of the table off one rail. Now he's going to get straight, so he's going to draw back, trying to clear the table. Pretty. Man, yeah. he gets a lot of effortless draw. Eight. So you're just going to get a little more energy out of the stroke and the cue itself, I think, uh, when everything's just flowing on a straight line so well. And again, this time. All right, a little flat, so comfortably. And that means just back it up a foot. Oh, no, he's just, yeah. okay, well, he's... Well, especially, he just stunned it over then. Yeah, especially on the 10-footer, I think. 9-footer a little different, I think. But this shot opens up a little more when the 8 gets a diamond out from the side rail. And you don't have to worry about there over. He, he might go 2 here for the corner, knowing him. No, he's going to come out. It's like a straight pool, man. If you ever really got to watch him play the straight pool, it's really, really fun to watch. Yeah, nice. Break and run out there. Very special, this this tournament, this place. You Check notice... Cracking? Yeah. No. You notice Lee Van broke from the left a little. Yeah, or try to go... Uh, uh, yes, I, yeah. and try to get the six down on the end rail. Yes, I yeah. would. And try to use it the behind the five this way. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah, that's what I was saying about the push out. It depends on that. Oh, he hit it with more speed. It wasn't that bad to kick behind it two rails. Not too bad. Five on the fourth rail. What? I don't know about that. He's putting him behind the yeah. two. <laughs> well, that's what he looked at first. Yeah. He looked at the cut. Okay, Lee Van will be able to he hit the one. Then. Maybe that's the best path out, too. Maybe Could he be. can oh. see. Oh, he can hit it. Okay. This guy. Uh, not quite. Forward and cool. try to get under the clutter, but I didn't have time to bring it out. But, but yeah, his shot was okay too. Everything was a gamble there. You were not. For the shot here, it's easy to let up a little bit because you're worried about the speed, but you want the draw to grab. Yeah, like that. So good at that, right? Mm hmm. That's where that go the places that the elite pros get it to go. Otherwise, just straight low, really. There's there's shots getting past the side because you want the effect to, mat, to happen immediately, you know, uh, to grab. So The stun draw, stun Yeah, forward, even on thin right. cuts with low outside and stuff like that, you can't, the equator ain't going to do it. Crude players. Yeah. All right. Looks pretty natural. Yeah, and that stun right there is important because the 10-footer, if he doesn't, he can't reach it. And he's got to shoot it with an extension or a bridge. Don't. One reason or another. Well, see that he took a little pace off. Three-railer, three-ball, long. The, the two-ball did not come out at all that time. You called the six-ball there last right time. There. Is the one nine not dead here for the kick? I mean, it looks like it was really good. Oh, he overdrew it. Might go in. Might go in. Ooh. He's going to shave and try and run the cue ball. That's all he could do. And that was rail first, so he couldn't see it directly. Look at this shot. Look at this shot. <laughs> wow. Side. Yeah, there's not a lot. Hush. Sitting right on the line. This will be pretty. Let it grab. There mm -hmm. you go. Great shot. <laughs> Our audience recognizes a great shot. Oh, and there. Sounds the same. He's going to run it between the 6-7 here. I think he's trying to bang it into the 8, isn't he? Damn it. Yeah. And come around. That way he can hold the 1. Look I, at this. <laughs> I thought he might go tight of the 5. You know, the same shot. Uh -huh. but go 
Nice exchange going back and forth here. Does he have a piece? I think he can rub the it. No, he's kicking. Might make this. And Lee Van made a nice kick, three rails. So took three or four shots for Josh's good opening safety to actually bear fruit. Long well, that's back for the eight. Does he come back a little to run the ball? He was trying to come across it. He let up. Easily from there. Oh, he's drawing. Okay. He's going to hook it. Off oh, the 10. Look oh, out. No. Trouble. Big trouble. Yeah. Big trouble. Well, uh, <laughs> because he's been so good, just, okay, even when he does make a little bit of a mistake, you know, regrouping, you know, go wrong. Yeah. Especially pool. Five ball. Five ball. Oh, it gets oh out cue something. ball again. Oh, ugly. I didn't see how it kissed, but we'll probably get a break I replay. I think it just got shaved uh, from just out of the peripheral of my eye. Uh, I was looking at the ball coming at the side. Yeah, I was too. Uh-oh. This is hot. Over to five now. A little awkward. It's just <laughs> simple. Just go between the four or five, really. I think, anyways. Oh, he's coming the other way. He's going to catch a piece of the three. Well, he's left-handed. Maybe not. Okay. This. Let's say a little okay. masse. Bend it to the side. Oh, he tried to hold it. The, now. The four doesn't go, though, right? No, I think he was trying to draw. He might just go all out. Nope. Smart. How's his speed? Not well, look good. at the stun he played behind the 10, though. I mean, the line on the four, you know, that's... The, <laughs> make one shot, then make it yet another this bad is gonna shot. Slide. This is going to slide. I don't mind it, but it just wasn't there at the angle he was at. But light kicks to the middle of the table, balls like that. Ball in hand, what he was dreaming of, he wouldn't have liked it. Got to go a little to make it easy. Yeah, he's okay. But again, it's on preference, and there is no more preference than ball in hand. I always tell players, if you don't know how the easiest way to get somewhere with ball in hand, then you really don't know how to play position. Mm -hmm. People don't respect it, and they think ball in hand's easy, and, and, they're, and it's quite the opposite. Learning to use it effectively and efficiently like these guys do. Yeah, and position comes a lot of times once you start to really develop your stroke because then you start to play position for that stroke you like a lot, that medium-ish or whatever it means. Yeah, that guy. yeah. Anyway, who would not but, welcome yeah. him? All right, three ball down, one ball tracking perfectly. The seven's clearing. This looks pretty good. Well, maybe not. I think so. Was Buddy Hall the greatest ever at drawing up the side rail like that from an <laughs> angle hunt? And then some of the ones he could do were just just really kind of out of this world in my mind for how many great shots he could come with as far as coming with the shot. Nick Varner said so Buddy Hall was the same. They had such great cue balls, but when the pressure was on and it was a big it shot. It would be fun. Where other guys view it with trepidation and nerves. Yep. Well, nice out here after a really awesome break. Probably no coincidence trying to get a, a little more fresh rack there from Outsfield. Very, very nice. One on the spot. And, uh, one of my favorites, and of course, one of your all time favorites, Justin Bergman. I think he ran eight and out in the tournament in one of the matches, which is incredible. And, uh, you know, they asked his carom backwards because it hopped off the ball backwards, and then he ran out. Okay, a little tester here saying, let's see what you can do, Lee Van. As well. Should I think anything else is a little, a little touchy. Yeah, he's overcut it nicely. He's wanting to get the one down further. So he hated it. He just rolled it in, no problem, every time. All right, important here with this cue ball. The two's out can be a little funny. Good thing is the three's pretty near the pocket. 
this is going to work nicely. Going to be able to come one Make rail, sure. you know, get through the ball a little bit. You got you know, five feet to come up. Right. You'd like to get near the middle. Oh, well, he put inside oh. and uh, trying to get all the way down there. He got there. But he threatened. I mean, that was a threat. That that hooked quite a bit. I think it took a little of the pace out of the key ball. I think he was even sweating it when it got near the side pocket. Yeah, I mean, it's the point. He's maybe snookered. He could have scratched. He didn't want to float that three in from the middle of the table. But really, he's really good at those shots. You know, those little mm -hmm. cuts and then coming up for the he four. He comfortably get there. And clearly he did because he's a foot away from being hooked. Yeah, nice shot. Yeah, coming on the inside, that's the way it tracked out there. Got you there. Once Lee Van's got the shot, he's been awesome. Throughout the, the whole tournament, I yeah. agree completely. And, uh, you know, here in this match, there's a couple mistakes. Uh, Hard. But they can get, become kind of goofy a little bit. Going if at you, the 10, so. Yeah. Very good out. See, where he's with this rack. Where's the nine ball right next to the one? That's the one he makes in the side. Tracking. A little long. Yeah, he's purposely taking a little speed off. Seven ball, nothing. Uh, pretty wide open lane. Well, he's hitting a high ball. He's trying to go straight down. And he could. Yeah, and he hooked it beautifully. He's still got to work a oh, lot. Trying to get cute and get perfect. Oh, he's trying to do more. So he's trying to get across. So this gives him a little elevated, Cheap. good delivery. Let the cue ball get all the way down. That's right. Beautiful. He floated it. He made it. He did right. get out of line. He didn't. He knew he had to shoot it in the corner, right? But he didn't just get down and shoot it immediately. He kind of recovered a little bit. Common right there. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, a little stretch. Balls. You just never go any further. Now, once you're comfortable and say, oh, I got four inches, just broke hey, in. Down. So probably this route. That way you're always coming into position there. Good shot. Good shot. Good speed. Yeah, well done. He didn't back, back down one bit. Really good. So it's the cue ball, but. He played for this all the way, so it just goes right up to the 10 here, no problem. This will tie the score, and Lee Van will have the break. And this is every bit of break. Six ball short, nine ball short, three ball <laughs> long, one ball straight in front of the cue ball. He's disappointed for sure. It's those extra rails of ball distance travel. His break. It's almost like uh -oh. when he was playing his best pool, and you know he, he overcut that by a good bit. It barely. Okay, he just let him play end rail to end rail. He's not cutting it, is he? He used to cut the ball so good. I mean, it was incredible how well he did. Wow, he overcut it. Yeah. Wow. But I well, to, yeah. <laughs> at, at Pat's tournament mainly is where I really. Yeah, and, and Lee Van's defense, you, some might think that's crazy, but, I mean, he was really just excelled, one of the best at it. Plus, the situation was difficult anyways. Right. You hate to sell out playing a phony safety where you leave the gap and then Filler just runs out. And so yeah. I'm not going to fault him. If you can hit it where you're yeah. getting so thin, it's if you just bludgeon it straight into the end rail, then I think, well, maybe you should have played safe. <laughs> yeah, that's when... Others will say, I promise, Mark, I usually hit that one good better. Mm -hmm. I always make that. I always make that shot. That's what I hear. Well, you didn't, so you don't always. But I end up playing. But that's the first time I think I saw Pat defer the break. And, I, you know, I was shaking my head a little bit. But uh, And then in 96 and 97, I definitely saw it, you know, yeah. with those tough uh, break ball. But, uh, try to draw past the eight. Looks like he's going to. Draw backwards at now. 
Pretty shot. Nice timing. <laughs> All right. He earned that. Yeah, oh, wow. this is a big rack too. To that with these guys, but I know the first day or two, it newer felt, you know, that made a little more sense to me, some of those overcuts. But speaking of thin, <laughs> this is going to get real thin. Well, and then Ooh, he's on the right part of the ball a little bit. I kind of liked his flat cutting and it coming three rails right across where the cue ball's at now. Oh, now he's going the other way. Big shot. Wow. Oh, he did <laughs> square it down. He's got still more cut, but he could, an easy shot. And it tells me he's still really calm. Look at Oh, I thought he had it. Ugh. He kind of stunned it a little instead of just a high, more high. You know, he kind of came off. Unless it kicked a little. Did it kick a little? Like skid? Well, I'll say it did just for his benefit. But well, it might have. It might have. Yeah, it might have. Yeah. We'll never know. Oh, nice. Checked it up with a little inside. Good control. Just roll it with a little. Uh, no, he's. Yeah, he's got to go high uh, with a, He's got to go high with a hair right. Yeah, and yeah. just try to rub the ten over exactly. by the rail. Yeah, it's but, fine. It'll it'll get it. Well, even if you don't come out with it perfect, you still do something. No, he'll have a shot. Okay. He'll have a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good enough. <laughs> Look at the face. He's like, <laughs> can't see if he has see. an extension or. No, he does not have an extension. Jeez. Two, one. <laughs> he got there. Yeah. Okay. I think when you're down shooting, a little extra. Don't lose the cue ball. No, right. Oh, he hit it sweet. He hit it sweet. Man, this table is dingy. Eight. No. And a cut on the one. Just almost none of the four railers are going. Imagine. It, I, I, I think that's another reason why the fans are so much in love with these players and respect them. All the hard work and travel. Oh, nice stroke there. And went ahead and decided to keep. That's going to be pretty good. Yeah, it's going to be just fine. Mm -hmm. Like really perfect. Mm -hmm. Back the cue ball up about eight inches there, and that gave him a little bit bigger angle, so it easily leaves the cushion here. And I don't recall a three-game lead in this match. Maybe it was 5-2 at one time, but I think it wasn't. So, so our first three-game lead, possibly. Kissed about the head string. Eight balls tracking down. See the three get kissed right there? It was tracking towards that corner as well. That that one railer that Shane makes yeah. a lot to draw behind the four seven as the one goes up table. He's gotten so good at that shot. And He's, the key and oh sorry, sorry Mark, go ahead. You see how much he cut that ball to get the pace. He played the cue ball more than the one. You know, and yeah. make sure he got it over there. Sometimes I try to be too cute with the one and get it down there. And then my cue ball leaves, sticks out there, and then he can defend himself where he got it. He has to kick. Now there is no defense. It's just gasping for air trying to hit the ball. And he's got to bend this. Wow. Oh, what nice a, shot. What a hit. Thank nice you. shot. Look where it's stuck up there. Still spinning. Josh yeah. is smiling. <laughs> he loves it. Well, that first <laughs> that first shot you know, still going. That, that first shot that Josh played, the key to that is is the in. Hmm. And easy to miss it because the softness of having to right. curve around the five will lengthen off this first rail. Might not get a rail. Oh, man. How good is this guy playing? Wow. How good is he playing? Oh, oh incredible. 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 Yeah. He made the, look at this shot. The highlight reel stuff. Perfect speed. And trickles in there. Lightly hitting it full. And caught it thin. Okay. Well, yeah. That good mass. Yeah. going real first. No, nope. ball first. He's good. He got there. He's good to get to the heel, to get to nine. Straight through, it looks like.
six ball short. Yeah. It's just like his brake power just isn't as strong as Filler's. Oh, yeah. And that's a big deal because, you know, Filler makes the one in that corner sometimes because it has more the eight's kind of in no man's land and he's straight. So he doesn't want to draw on top of it. So he's trying to get past he went too it. far. Oh, no, he wanted to get yeah. past it. Yeah. Prove it, maybe. Yeah. And again, he's just one of those guys that doesn't lose in the finals very often. He's not afraid of the moment. He's always been a great player and still getting better. And hats off to Lee Van. Another incredible run here at the Bigfoot. And he, play, <laughs> he played his tail off, I'll tell you. Yeah. Okay. Lee Van recognizes a lot of camaraderie there. These guys play all.